In this video, we'll look at ba, the conditional. Uh, we'll also differentiate it from other types of conditional in Japanese and show where they overlap or differentiate. Uh, we've looked at ba before in the baryokata form. I wish I had or hadn't done something. For example, mosko shi benkyo sure baryokata. I wish I had studied a little bit more. Kohi wo nomanakereba yokatta. So in the negative, I wish I hadn't drank coffee. So this is the, if the condition were the case, it would have been better. So this is a way of showing regret that something didn't happen. You can also do it in the non pass ba yi or ba daijobu. It'll be okay if, or you should do something. For example, kanojo ni hanaseba yi. You should talk to your girlfriend. Or it'll be okay if you talk to your girlfriend. O kane wo kaiseba daijobu daro. It'll be all right if you return the money. Uh, but this ba is much more widely used, you know, it doesn't restrict um, what comes after to e or yokata or daijo. For example, Byoro renshu sereba jōzu ni naru daro. If I practice the viola, I'll get good at it. Denwa shite kurereba jūsho o shiereta kido. So if you had called me, I could have told you the address. This is counterfactual. You didn't call, but if you had done this, I would have told you. And it ends in kido or daro or kamoshirenai, really counterfactual. Ine wo katte ireba kono apato ga ii. So if you have a dog, this apartment would be great. So if the condition on the left is met, the condition on the right would make sense. Ki ni mizo yaranakereba shinu daro. Unless you water the tree, it will probably die. So the if in the negative, yaranakereba, can also be translated as unless. If you don't water the tree, it will die. Saifu wo wa wasurenakereba, kras ni okurenakatta daro. So again, counterfactual. If I hadn't forgotten my wallet, I wouldn't have been late to class. Note that the whole sentence depends on the tense of the verb, past or non-past, at the end of the sentence, right? It changes the meaning entirely. Uh, the ba form itself doesn't have any tense. It's either affirmative or negative, but the, the main phrase at the end of the sentence, the tense determines the kind of tense of the whole, the mood of the whole sentence. How do we form the ba form? For ru verbs, you uh, drop the ru and add de ba. And this includes te yiru forms, right? So miru, mireba. Okite yiru, okite yireba. Akirameru, akirameleba. Nomeru, nomeleba. Kikaseru, kikaseleba. Korosareru, korosareleba. So there's a double re there. Note that this last one's in the passive, the one before that is in the causative, the one before that's in the potential. So it doesn't matter what form the verb is, uh, you, can, you can conjugate it in the ba form. Ru verbs a little bit harder. You have to change the last syllable to the a column and then add ba. So yomu becomes yomeba, kaisu kaiseba, migaku migakeba, oyogu oyogeba, hairu haireba, suru sureba, kuru kureba. There's no real irregular verb. Suru and kuru obey the regular rules of the u verbs. The form you just need to change something to the negative. It doesn't matter if it's u or ru. So change the nai to nakireba. Uh, note that the adjectives can also be formed this way. Drop the e and change it to kereba. So kawaii becomes kawaii kereba. Kawaii becomes kawaii kereba. Uh, and negative is the same way with nai to nakereba. Kawaku nakereba. Kawaiku nakereba. Right. The Thai form also conjugates like an E adjective. So if you want to say, Shinitakereba, if you want to die, Kore o nominasai, drink this. Shinitakunakereba, if you don't want to die, Watashi no yu koto shinasai, do what I say. Na adjectives and nouns can also be made into the ba form. Think of a da. Da is actually a short form of de aru. So the form would be de areba or de nakereba. おじいさんが元気であれば、公園に連れて行こう。Let's take Grandpa out of the park if he's got energy. ブラピの映画じゃなければ見たくない。If it's not a Brad Pitt film, I don't want to watch it. ペンシュしましょう。How would you say reason with the bar form? ポケットにお金があればお菓子を買います。友達じゃなければ来なかっただろう。It is counterfactual, so... 
ゆずさんだろうって。ゆっくりインテンすれば大丈夫だろう。大丈夫。It'll probably be fine if you drive slowly. So here's the difference. Let's look at the difference based on the tense, right? 時間があれば昼ごはんを食べる。I will eat lunch if I have time. Counterfactual will put a だろうって言う、right? 時間があれば昼ごはんを食べただろう。I would have done it in the past tense. If I had the time. So look at the negative. お客さんが来なければ昼ごはんを食べる。I will eat lunch if no customers come. But in the past tense, it would be counterfactual. Right? 客が来な,か来なければ昼ごはんを食べただろう。We can also use たら。時間があったら。客が来なかったら。Uh, for The first part of each of these sentences that indicates the result,、uh, whether you would eat lunch or won't eat lunch,、uh, whereas the ba form indicates the condition. If this is the case, then something else would be the case, whereas the tara form indicates、uh, if something, one thing happened, the result will be something else. But effectively, the meanings are, overlap a great deal, and you don't really need to worry too much about differentiating them for this.、Right? Um, it can be used for counterfactual. Cases like, 私がお金持ちだったら、私がお金持ちであれば、付き合ってくれるかもしれません。Like, he would probably go out with me if I were rich. お金持ちだったら、お金持ちであれば。Also in the negative. 冗談じゃなかったら、冗談じゃなければ、笑っていなかったら。If it weren't a joke, I wouldn't have been laughing. Note that the Tara form tells you things that, that Ba can't. In terms of when. When one thing happens, this is the result. For example, 家に帰ったらテレビを見る When I get home, I'll watch TV. 友達が来たら教えてください When my friend comes, or when your friend comes, please tell me. 車を買ったらシカゴに行こう When, if, either you buy a car,、uh, let's go to Chicago. You can't use the ba form for these kind of conditions. And、there's also another one, nara, that we have studied, right? A nara B means B only if A is the case. So if only if A is true, then something else. 友達が来るなら教えてください Please tell me if your friend is going to come. But don't tell me otherwise. 友達が来ないなら食べ物が足りるかな If your friends aren't coming, we might have enough food. 足りるとは、足りるとは、家に帰るならこれを持って行ってもらえない If you happen to be going home, if, you're, if the case is that you're going home, could you take this for me?、Uh, which one would you use in these cases, right? So if you're not going to be on time, please call. So this is restrictive, we would use nada, right? Mani a wa nai nada de amo shite kudasai. You don't have to call otherwise. So nada makes sense. I made Chinese friends when I moved to New York City. We have to use the tara form, right? Because it's the result that comes after when something happens. ニューヨークに引っ越したら中国人の友達ができた。I'll talk with her when she gets here. 彼女が来たら話をします。Whereas if you use the bar form, I'll talk with her if she comes. 彼女が来れば話をします。Let's try a few more. This is a restrictive condition here, so we use nara. 安全じゃないなら早く出て行ってください。This next one, if you look up that word, we'll talk about the result of that. So, その単語を調べたら意味がわかるでしょう。Right? And then I'll laugh if she says something funny versus when she says something. First one here is the result. 彼女が面白いことを言ったら笑います。彼女が面白いことを言えば笑います。Practice this a little bit more with 教科書二百四十五ページから二百四十六ページ。練習4の AB 薬を飲めば元気になります。If you take this medicine, you'll become 元気 Let's note that there's some questions that you can use with ba. どうすればいいですか Same as どうしたらいいですか What should I do? If I do something, what would be good?、Right? どうすれば彼女ができますか What should I do to get a girlfriend? あかっこいい服を買えば彼女ができるでしょう。So if you buy、uh, awesome looking clothes, maybe you'll be able to get a girlfriend. 
。どうすれば成績が良くなりますか ?What should I do to make my grades better? あ、もっと勉強すれば成績が良くなるでしょう。How do you answer these questions? どうすればエコになれますかどうすればいい仕事をゲットできますかどうすれば20キロを痩せ,痩せられますかどうすれば友達にマリオカートで勝てますか